This is Corporal Nicholas Clark, retired U.S. Army. In 2007, I lost my left leg below the knee. But I rehabbed, I'm back out here at Living Life. I'm out here hunting pheasants at Thunderstick Lodge in South Dakota. Come on, buddy. Fresh air, good friends, and the thrill of the flesh. They're just what the doctor ordered to cure what ails you. Honoring America's heroes, it's what we do on Grateful Nation. Woo! Bam! Stay tuned for more on the Outdoor Channel's Grateful Nation. Servicemen and women pay the price to preserve our freedom. Join us as we reconnect wounded warriors with their roots as American sportsmen. And show our thanks as a grateful nation. Ready to whack them and stack them, baby. Now all we have to do is find some birds, right? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Hunt them up. Rooster! Nice shot. Nice shot. This is my first pheasant hunt. I didn't really know what to expect. I was a little nervous, to be honest with you. Rooster! I got to be quick on the bird, or I'm not going to get a shot. So we'll see how it goes. Nice shot. Rooster! Baby! Yeah! <laughs> nice shot. Now we're cooking. Grateful Nation returns to South Dakota's Thunderstick Lodge to honor Corporal Nick Clark of the 173rd Airborne. Wounded by an enemy RPG, Nick's got his sights set on the future. I love to be in the outdoors. I'm more of a fisherman if it, when it comes down to it, but I went on a, um, a quail hunt when I was a teenager. That's about as close as I've come to this. South Dakota is a beautiful state. The scenery, the, the land, the rolling hills, the grass, and, and the birds. You know, you can go about any place in the country and shoot birds, but keeping it real and making it a hunt, that's what Thunderstick's really about. We get to share our passion for the outdoors. We get to share a passion for bird hunting, our, our passion for dogs, and really it's our passion for people. This is really a unique opportunity for us to, to truly give back to somebody who's deserving beyond deserving. Am I gonna hit some birds? Am I not gonna hit some birds? And you know how it is in, in the military, those guys will ride you pretty hard if, if you don't perform. So I'm all about coming out here and doing the best I can so nobody can give me slack about it later. <laughs> Seeing his enthusiasm for life, for the adventure, for something new like pheasant hunting. Here's a guy, not soon after he lost his leg, he was walking around with his prosthetic just weeks afterwards. And uh, he made the decision to not let that keep him down. Go get him, boy. His enthusiasm for life is contagious. He has taken something that a lot of people would have been life devastating experience and turned it into a positive. And he has just grabbed life by the horns and, and away he's went. It's, been, it's, it's really fun to see that. <laughs> As we head to the five stand for a little shooting practice, we're joined by a Thunderstick regular, former Blue Angel, Rear Admiral Jim Maslowski. Maz has been here 21 times in about 15 years. It's the only place I ever go back to every year. It's based upon the staff, the people, the experiences, and also the quality of the hunting. A little breezy this morning. The wind's going to pick up as the day goes on. And with the wind and birds, from my experience, which is limited compared to this guy, uh, when those when those pheasants get up in the air, they'll usually go with that wind and stay stay low and fast. So the trick for for that is what I call it the the four B's of shooting. As you swing through the bird, butt body beak boom, butt body beak boom. Ho! Oh! There you go. Oh! Great shot. Oh. There, you go. there we go. Nice shot. Oh. Oh. There you go. Oh. Trying to feel a little natural now. There we go. Nice oh. Nice. Good nice shot, shot, Jim. All right, Maz, we're going to follow your lead. Let's go get some birds, boys.
You're watching Federal Premium Ammunition's Grateful Nation right here at Thunderstick Lodge, where it's a very windy day. So stay tuned. Find out if we get some birds. Do it, boy. Grateful Nation, presented by Federal Ammunition, is brought to you by Federal Ammunition. Every shot counts. Bushnell, Savage Arms, No Nonsense, All Performance, Blackhawk, Honor, It's a Way of Life, and by the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation. No legislation should come between you and the outdoors. Visit congressionalsportsman.org to learn more. First day we had 40 mile an hour winds. That's challenging for even the seasoned veteran shooters. I mean, that, that's tough shooting. Go get him, boy. I can't tell you how exciting it is to be out there with that wind blowing so hard. I mean, it was just like being flushed down a toilet or a vortex. They just were gone. It was like looking at, we, some of us took some shots occasionally, but it was like, man, they're just gone. They're taking off quick, yeah, real quick. Come on, baby, where are you? We got a few get away, but that can't get them all. It's a challenging day, but it will be a day full of memories indeed. Rooster! He's down, right? <laughs> all right, we're starting off good. I try to take care of my leg, you know, so I'm, I'm prepared for stuff like this. Get some action over here. As long as I'm walking, I'm good. I can hear one. Rooster! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> when he got out there and he shot that first bird, he's all excited. He's like, yeah! That enthusiasm just hit me, and it's like, yeah, that's right. You know, this is why I do this. I put a lot of pressure on myself, but after that first day, it's all just excitement now. You know, I'm ready to get back out and, uh, and get after some more birds. Well, that was kind of fun. Let's do it again. Yeah. Can we do it again? This might be my new thing. I can stay out here all day and do this, man. I joined the Army when I was 24 years old. I was always planning on making a career out of the military. So my injury, it, it put me in a tailspin. I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was in Alaska when 9-11 happened, uh, working at a processing plant. I knew, I knew then that, that I was going to go. I did the delayed entry program, got myself physically ready, and then off to Fort Benning I went. I was a paratrooper. I was an infantryman. My first jump, that door opens, and I, I can see treetops, and I, I was ready. I was pumped, man. I was ready to go. Probably one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life was, was that first jump. As luck would have it, they said, hey, who, who wants to go to Italy? Who wants to go to the 173rd? We all kind of raised our hands, and off we went to Vicenza, Vicenza, Italy, with the 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team. We were, we were chomping at the bit. We were, we were ready to go. We landed in Afghanistan through, through Manus. My injury was the first major attack of our deployment. It was uh, June 2nd, 2007. That morning, there was nothing that told me anything was wrong. I was in the lead vehicle, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm scanning, I'm scanning, I'm scanning, and I, I didn't pick up the, the first fixed position, which was across the valley. And they had uh, small arms fire and RPGs, and they waited till we got past, and then they, they hit the third vehicle. And then there was another, another fixed position, and they hit my vehicle. Boom, we get hit with another RPG. Boom, we get hit with another RPG. And uh, OK, it's time to get out. We had an interpreter killed. And uh, my roommate and best friend in the Army, uh, Jacob Lowell, he didn't pull through that day. But he saved a lot of lives that day. So we ended up hanging around for about two, probably about two hours after we initially got hit before we were able to get uh, extracted. So what happened with, with my leg was it was a concussion injury. So it was just the sheer force. So the whole heel just blew out. So just imagine a foot without a heel. That's exactly what it looked like. So I had my leg, but I also had some burns and shrapnel in my neck. I almost took my head off, you know, another inch to the left, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. So by the time I got to Bagram, it didn't take long. I knew that my injuries were, were bad. So when I got injured, they told me I'd have to reclass, learn a new job, and that, that's not what I wanted to do. So I was forced out. It's, it's tough. It's, 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 you have to accept it and just move on. So that's, that's what I did. You know, he lost a leg, yes. Uh, he lost friends, yes. He has to 
live life a little differently, yes, but he doesn't let that dictate who he is. He doesn't let his wounds dictate how he's gonna live his life. I wasn't wasting any time. I was ready to get out there and see what life had for me. Turns out, life had a lot more in store for Nick, like his beautiful wife, their daughter, and now a son on the way. And in addition, Nick plays left field for the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team, a barnstorming charity squad hosting camps while raising money and morale for amputee children across America. My future is bright. Um, the family, I'm gonna continue to travel with the team. I'm gonna continue to reach out to other veterans. I'm gonna continue to try to help amputee children. But um, who knows what life has in store for me. Um, hopefully some more pheasant hunting. <laughs> You're watching Federal Premium Ammunition's Grateful Nation, right here on the Outdoor Channel at Thunderstick Lodge. First start! From day one after I had gotten my wings, I never wanted to do anything else. A familiar face here at Thunderstick, Rear Admiral Jim Maslowski turned three tours in Vietnam before joining the Blue Angels, where he flew left wing and slot for that legendary squadron. I think it's a fulfillment of every aviator's uh, aspirations to fly. The Blue Angels are recognized, I think, at the, the com competition with the Thunderbirds, which, you know, that's the other group. But... No, it was an honor and a privilege, and uh, I, was, I was very, very thrilled to have the experience. And these young men and women today believe strongly in the values of our country. They commit themselves to doing what the mission is, and they know full well what the risks are when they're going forward, just like uh, Nick does, did. I mean, you know, he paid the tough sacrifice by, by being injured, but he's rallying back, and uh, we thank him for his service. No, this is perfect right here, isn't it? It's day two here at South Dakota's Thunderstick Lodge, and our honored vet, Corporal Nick Clark, is gearing up to throw down some big miles today. You got the new jacket on? All right. Matt said he was out of uniform yesterday, so um, look at this new jacket he got. Pretty dapper there. Thank you. <laughs> I feel pretty dapper. Courtesy of Maz. And your lovely wife. Maz and, yeah. and your lovely yeah. wife. Absolutely. You're, You're looking good. good. I'm excited. Let's do it. Four Bs. That's right. Blue sky. We got it all today, That's don't That's it, we? man, yeah. If you don't like the weather in South Dakota, just wait a while. It'll change, you know. Hardly any wind at all. Let's do it. Hunt them up. All right. I think today, for me, is the culmination of everything. The, uh, the five-in-one stand, um, all the tips I've been getting from the guides and stuff. Just do what Jason says, and you're going to get on the birds, man. <laughs> Restart! Nice shot. We, we even put some, some birds in the jacket. We got some blood on the jacket, so I was excited about that. I was very excited about that. Time to break in that new coat. Bird me. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> now we're ready. That feels good. That feels real good. Ready. All right. Hunt them up. You, you got to be quick on these birds. You can tell these guys have been pheasant hunting for a long time. Rooster! Good shot, Jim. Rooster! Rooster! Nice shot. Nice shot. Boy, he set up perfect for you right there, man. Great shot. Oh, here we go. Get ready. Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> he got him. I feel relaxed out here. I feel at home. I feel no pressure to do anything. All right, hunt him up. But just have a good time. Rooster! Nick's on fire. I do what I can. I think he likes his pheasant hunting. Thank God for that second barrel. <laughs> that enthusiasm, that fire inside him, it's just awesome. All right, nice shooting. I really enjoy this. This is something that I could do all day. Yes, Let's sir. hold up a second. Rooster! Be ready, there's another bird here. Good boy. Okay, hunt him up. Rooster! 
Oh! <laughs> Good shot, brother. Yeah, baby. Okay, okay. Four years back, Lance Corporal and fellow amputee Jesse Schertz joined us here at Thunderstick for their annual hunt, hosted by Admiral Maslowski. Nice! My incident in particular, we were hit by a suicide car bomb with four, five, one, five, five artillery rounds and homemade napalm. Jesse suffered some severe burns on his face, on his hands, uh, lost his leg, and he's come back strong. And I'll say he's the epitome of a lot of these young men that go off the war and come back broken, but not beat. He's a can-do Marine. Being in the field special for me because that's where I grew up. I like being out here strictly because of, you know, just the, the simplicity of it. It's a way for me to relax. I get a lot of thinking done, and I hopefully, hopefully I never get to the point where I can't do it. Rooster, rooster! Nice! It just is a very uh, convincing fact of what these young men and women are, are doing uh, with their injuries, with their attitudes, their personalities. No pity. I did what I wanted to do. I was proud to serve, and uh, let me get on with my life. And it's very, very incredibly important and impressive. Good morning, buddy. Hi, I'm Tim Abel. And I'm Corporal Nick Clark. And you're watching Federal Premium Ammunition's Grateful Nation right here at Thunderstick Ranch on the Abdoor Channel, where this guy, Rooster! he's whacking some birds. <laughs> Stay tuned. Grateful Nation, presented by Federal Ammunition, is brought to you by Federal Ammunition. Every shot counts. Bushnell, Savage Arms, No Nonsense, All Performance. Blackhawk, Honor is a Way of Life. And by the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation. No legislation should come between you and the outdoors. Visit congressionalsportsman.org to learn more. It's wonderful to have a show after 10 seasons that has touched lives like Grateful Nation has. I think things like this, like coming out to a place like Thunderstick and watching someone's life change because of what they're doing out here and how this experience just gives them a different outlook on life. As tragic as it is that they have to learn after their injuries, that it changes <laughs> their life. Well done. It's a family atmosphere and, and I can't wait to get back and I haven't even left yet. It's our final hunt here at Thunderstick with retired soldier Corporal Nick Clark. And today, we'll walk the fields with all the guests at this storied lodge. We've got some veterans here. We've got some Air Force veterans. We've got a uh, Navy veteran. The Maz, obviously, is out here. <laughs> it's a time to spend bonding, sense of appreciation for, for what we enjoy and do. You ready? Yes, sir. OK, on them up. In a large group, you got guys spread out. You got wingmen up in front.